Hello, this is Mr. E Tutor again, your mystery tutor here at mysterytutor.com, and welcome to video module 2-1. In this section, we'll be discussing how the SAT is scored. Now, a lot of people foolishly go in to take the SAT without ever knowing anything at all about how it's actually scored. But think about it. You'd never go in to take a final exam in a big important class without already knowing as much as you possibly could about the scoring of the exam beforehand. Maybe there are certain question types you don't need to answer. Maybe there are some you have to study for a little bit harder than you would study for other ones. Well, the situation is similar with the SAT. <clears throat> so ask yourself, when you go in to take the SAT, if you had to take it right now, would you have any idea how it's actually scored? A lot of people know that they might get penalized when they're wrong or rewarded when they're correct. But do you actually know what happens between you filling out the bubbles on the score sheet and you receiving the score report in the mail? What's that process that goes on that the College Board goes through? Just like with any test, scoring is an essential part of the SAT. We can't play the SAT game if we don't know the SAT rules. We have to know the scoring rules so we can know how to exploit them. Listen, I really can't stress this enough. A lot of people are probably going to skip all of these modules because they don't think the scoring is important. But listen to me. The scoring of the SAT is at least as important as any of the question types. Spend as much time trying to understand this as you would trying to understand any of them. I promise you it'll pay off. Thanks very much, and remember, it's easier than you think.